So many women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These women have explored, discovered, invented, and are now legends. This series celebrates women in history of STEM. Edith Clark acquired many achievements in STEM and is a pioneer of computing and electrical engineering. Her knowledge and professional work experience guided her ability to understand and solve complex mathematical equations. With her invention of the Clark calculator and her multiple degrees, Clark formed a path for women in STEM today. Edith Clark was born in Howard County, Maryland on February 10, 1883. She lived in a small house and was one of nine children. She was the daughter of John Wrigley Clark, a lawyer, and Susan Dorsey Owings. At the age of 12, Edith was orphaned and was raised by her older sister. When she turned 18, Clark inherited a large sum of money and used that to study mathematics and astronomy. She double majored and graduated in 1908 from Vassar College. Clark began teaching mathematics and physics at Marshall College in San Francisco, California, before she studied civil engineering at the University of Wisconsin. In 1912, she began working for AT&T as a computer. One of her clients, George Campbell, was known for applying mathematical methods to solve long-distance electrical transmission problems. During her time at AT&T, Edith also attended night classes studying electrical engineering at Columbia University. In 1918, Edith enrolled into the master's program at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and within one year she earned an MS in electrical engineering. Clark's thesis was supervised by Arthur E. Kenley, a famous Irish-American electric engineer. During the early 1900s, it was really hard for a woman to find work as an engineer. Clark began working for General Electric as a supervisor of computers in the turbine engineer department. This is where she invented the Clark calculator, patented in 1925. This simple graphing calculator designed to solve equations involved electric currents, voltage, and power transmission lines. This improved productivity because this device solved line equations 10 times faster than any other at the time. In 1922, GE offered Clark a position in the Central Station Engineering Department, making her the first professional female electrical engineer in the United States. In 1926, Clark became the first to deliver a presentation at the American Institute of Electric Engineer annual meeting. In later years, two of Clark's papers won awards from AIEE. She won Best Regional Paper Prize in 1932, and in 1941, she won Best National Paper Prize. In 1943, Clark wrote a textbook, Circuit Analysis of AC Power Systems, which contained no from her lectures at GE. Clark retired from GE in 1945 to become a teacher. Clark became the first female professor of electrical engineering in the country when she started teaching at the University of Texas. She taught for 10 years before retiring in 1957. Among the achievements I have already mentioned, Clark received various awards as well. Edith Clark was the first female fellow of American Institute of Electric Engineering. In 1954, she received the Society of Women Engineers Achievement Award. Clark was included in Women of Achievement in Maryland History in 1998, the American National Biography, and Notable American Women of Modern Period. In 2015, Clark was finally induced in the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Edith Clark died on October 29, 1959 in Texas, but her accomplishments, inventions, and achievements improved technology in the early 1900s and paved a way for women to join STEM fields today. With a degree in mathematics, astronomy, and electrical engineering, Clark's knowledge and understanding enhanced the development of mathematical methods that simplify and reduce time spent in calculating and solving problems. Edith Clark succeeded in a field that was dominated by men, and her legacy lives on. She is an inspiration and a great example for women who desire to join STEM fields today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and tune in every Thursday for a new episode of Women in History of STEM.